I've got my base coat on. I'm using Sage Clear. Valentine's Day nails don't always have to be pink and red. They don't always have to include hearts. I think if you take one component, either the shape of a heart or the color theme of red and pink, it qualifies as your typical Valentine Day manicure. So on some nails there are going to be hearts, on some nails there are going to be no hearts but red and pink. Some nails won't have to be red and pink at all but include the shape of a heart. It's your choice. I painted my pinky with Zoya Christie. Oops. Nails I'm doing can be worn. I would wear it as is. I like all my nails to be different. But you can put, you can make each nail the same design. You can use one of these nails as an accent design. These are just a, it's just a collective idea. I'm taking Zoya Christie again and doing a free-handed uh, French tip. This is just uh, some ideas. These are just some ideas for you to do whatever you like with. If you don't have white peeking through, like if that was your nail, I would make an invisible fringe tip and come down to about right here. I'm painting Van de Gogh by Essie on my middle finger. Pink microbeads, but the pink microbeads that I have are um, not quite the right color of pink. So I'm going to take, I have a video about the microbeads, I will link in the description. I'm going to take the silver microbeads and roll them around in some pink polish. Then I'll just take the end of my dotting tool on the tip of my nail, wherever you like. Pick up the ones that are really coated. So you can pretty much buy silver beads, paint them whatever color you like with uh, whatever polish you have. And if you don't have microbeads, and if you don't like the 3D look, you can just take your dotting tool or a toothpick and dip it in the polish and make little pink dots on the French tip of your nail. I got this dotting tool from Sally Beauty Supply. You can get versions of this online and much cheaper. I've got a dotting tool on that end and a brush on this end. It came naturally bent like that. Going on my pink. My pink nail. And I'm gonna practice on the paper a little bit. So I can do a thin line of red. Bat line. And now back to the skinny line. And now we're going to do a fat line. So on the pinky, I'm going to do little tiny heart-shaped polka dots. Got my SD Van to go. The tiniest dotting tool I have, which um, a toothpick would probably work. Really? Seriously? A toothpick would probably work really well. I did this in my... There's a piece of hair on it. In my leopard print tutorial for Valentine's Day. A piece of hair serious. What I do to draw a heart is I do a dot and then a dot and then I kind of wipe off the excess because I don't want that much and I just oops, maybe a little need a more then I just drag it down this one I saw on this girl Bianca on Facebook had her nails done different color combination and she used just round rhinestones whereas I'm going to use these heart shaped rhinestones. So I got these as a gift. I see them on eBay. I've seen them at swap meets. I'm sorry I don't know where else you can get them. I wouldn't ever buy gemstones at Sally Beauty Supply because they charge way too stinking much. But I'm fortunate enough to have some heart rhinestones here. 
Dipping a little in the clear, picking up a rhinestone heart in the center line of my nail. If you don't have rhinestone hearts, you can use the microbeads we used earlier and you could like build up a little microbead heart with some microbeads, maybe a microbead there, 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 make a microbead shaped heart. Or you can just do freehand draw them on um, hearts yourself or if you've got a stamping plate and a light pink that stamps well. The only stamping pink I have is Conad. I don't know of regular light pinks that stamp well so you're gonna have to trial and error that yourself. But just put hearts right down the center of your nail. I like that. 